In this portion of the video, I'm going to show you how to remove the drum and reinstall it. Uh, I'm going to show you some features on the drum, and I'm also going to so show you some features that the, uh, that the frame has. Uh, the first thing that I do is I, I call this clocking the drum, and basically what I do is I make sure that the handle, which, or the, the space where you put your hand, is in the upright position. This helps me realign it when I go to install the uh, drum back on the frame. So the first thing we do is we pull this locking pin out for the nose bracket, okay? And at this point, grab it with both hands and you slide it forward and then lift out. And that will allow you to uh, remove the drum. When you are putting the drum back in place, simply lift the drum up the same way you had it. And what you are doing is you're aligning this coupler with this one here. So this coupler would, would have a, you know, a female area here and a male area there. So we're going to put this back on there. And sometimes what happens is you have to kind of turn it a little bit and find the, sp the spot for it. And then you take your nose bracket and slide it back down and push the locking plane in, in place. Um, some of the features on this, um, this has a, what we call an inner drum. Um, the cable in this is wound counterclockwise. And what that does for you is it allows the drum to shrink for all intents and purposes and wrap itself around the inner drum. This does a uh, couple of things for you. Uh, the first thing it does is that it helps you apply more of the power that the machine has available to the cable. Um, and it does that, once again, by wrapping itself around that inner drum. The second thing that it helps you do is it, is it helps avoid uh, flipping the cable over uh, inside the drum, which does happen on occasions. It's never impossible to flip a cable, but it's a lot less lightly with this machine. Uh, some of the other features that it offers, we'll swing this around the back here, mm -hmm. is right here you have a drain plug and you simply unscrew that pull it out and there's a rubber grommet that's attached to it as well so once you have that removed you bring this down to the bottom and you you will have sprayed your degreaser in there or cleaner or cleaning solution or whatnot and make sure that you get all of that out of there once that's ready to go then you can condition the cable again uh, once you've completed that task then you can put the uh, drain plug back in it and tighten the screw up on it and you're good to go. On the frame itself, it has a very simple feature, okay, where you can actually loosen this handle and as you can see there, you can tilt the machine at any angle from zero all the way up to 90 degrees, okay? And that allows you to get through, you know, difficult areas or, or you know, drains that are uh, not as easy to get to. So it's just something to help the operator uh, complete his task. Uh, 